Hey guys, Dustin here. This is Terra Battle. I'm playing this on my uh, iPhone 5. Uh, it's from Mistwalker, guys who brought you... Uh, uh, what is it? Last Story? The, uh, the really sought-after Wii RPG games. I think they were even uh, responsible for Blue Dragon. Anyway, that's uh, Sakaguchi and Uematsu's new joint when they uh, left uh, Square Enix. This is a kind of a turn-based tactical RPG, and it's uh, free to play, and it is not obnoxiously free to play. I uh, I've yet to run any stamina issues. That's how, that's kind of like the the time gate. If you run out of stamina and you can't play it any longer, but uh, I've yet to encounter that a single time, and I've been playing it for uh, quite a while today. The basic premise is you want to flank your enemies to attack them, and any time that you are parallel with some of your own uh, comrades, then you get a uh, like an attack bonus. Uh, and depending on who you are parallel with, it will uh, change kind of how you attack. Um... Now you come to me. I'm going to make this dragon come to me. For instance, <coughs> for instance, my mage there in the middle, he is a... Uh, he will heal also. If... Uh, if two people are parallel to him, then he will uh, randomly heal someone. There we go. I knew you'd see it my way. And I have my Magma Mummy. She does uh, region. And up in the top right, you have... Uh, you can see sword, uh, bow and arrow, and spear. That's kind of the rock, paper, scissors that's uh, underneath the the tactical gameplay. That uh, like Swords will cause more damage to archers. Archers more damage to... Uh, your uh, pull arms and pull arms will hurt your swordsman more. And magicians don't really fit into that rock, paper, scissors. So it's basically just uh, you want to target them first just because they will they will kill enemies. So I filled my power meter, so up there in the corner you see that uh, P there. It's uh, also something that if I move one of my characters so that they're perpendicular and also cause an attack, then it will also help boost uh, attack power. And uh, you really want to save those up for like your bosses. Uh, I don't know if it's just amateurish on my part, but I tend to keep my party down below. I think. I mean, it's just that way I don't have to worry about enemies getting in behind me. So I usually bait them down below, and then when they uh, come to attack me, I attack them instead. It's kind of like the uh, the backstab of Dark Souls, right? I'm just dancing around opponents trying to get a backstab because I'm too incapable of parrying. But again, yeah, this is made by Mistwalker, so uh, the story doesn't seem... Uh, I'm, I'm really early in. This is only Chapter 2. Uh, so I'm not uh, deep enough into the story to, to say anything about it, but uh, the music in this game is... Absolutely fantastic. That's uh, Nobu Nobuo Uematsu's uh, doing. Actually, fought my first really big uh, boss monster last chapter. It was pretty fun.
Right now I have five characters. You can uh, include up to six characters, but I, I haven't... Uh, I don't have enough money to go in and hire someone else. Alright. And the monsters come in waves, basically. So, uh... And each character has a different amount of waves. And Last chapter, there was, uh... They were all basically around my level, but towards the end, the boss character was, like, uh, level 12? And my... My Magma Mummy is only a level 10, and the rest are like 4 and 5s. There's a job system that requires... Uh, do I want to... I think I'm just going to stick here. I don't want to get in between those two enemies. I'm not confident enough in my abilities to uh, kill that thing instantly. Okay, so now... Let me go ahead and... Mage this time. Okay. Thanks for uh, doing my job for me there, Dragon. Yeah, I heard about this on uh, the 8-4 Play podcast. Those guys were talking about it. And then after that, I heard uh, Drew Scanlon on Giant Bomb talking about it. So uh, I figured I may as well give it a shot, especially since it, it doesn't cost anything for me to play. And I've really been enjoying it so far. Go leveling up, leveling up. Coins. So let's see. Go over to the tavern. That's where I can recruit people. But you see, uh, I don't have the money to do so. I only got like 1,400 right now. 1,400 gold up in the top right. And I got one thing of energy. Pact of Truth. I, I did that once. I had six energy. And... Uh, it, it said something about my female character, but I, I clicked through it before I could see what it was. It was a ball that it, it said something about her, but I unfortunately clicked too fast. Uh, shop, you can restore your stamina or energy. You're probably doing that with real money. Let's see. No. Purchase energy. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to bother with that. Pretty sure you'd have to use real money for that. Uh, but again, I've had zero problem with stamina, as you can see. Uh, I've only used nine, you know, I've used three pieces of stamina, and I'm about to get one in 12 seconds. So, really not a big deal yet. Uh, add jobs. You can add jobs to your characters, and you have to use uh, pickups and money. Wow, okay, I didn't see the, it says uh, 8,000 coins required. So, there's even more beyond the uh, leveling up. There's even more customization there. So, yeah. Terra Battle. Really, really cool. Um, really impressed. I think mostly with the music so far because it is incredible. But uh, that'll do it, guys. This has uh, just been a quick look at Terra Battle. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comics below. Comics. Yes, in the comics below. Uh, in the comments below, uh, like, subscribe, uh, all the good stuff, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.